Namaste beautiful yogis. Welcome to Ali Kamenova Yoga and my herbal corner with a few trees, fruit trees in the making. <laughs> Loquat and many persimmons, pomegranate. So those are babies in the making. But I'm inviting you to join me for the new July program. We're starting today a new program. It is going to be fabulous. As with the previous programs, which is the roots and the fruit and the herbal healing programs, we um, drew inspiration from nature and from the world around us to get grounded and to continue healing the layers of the body. In July, we're going to start a program called the Phenomenal Yoga Program, inspired by the phenomenal world. We're going to observe visible and invisible events uh, occurrences, phenomenon in the world so that we can quiet down, contemplate the world around us, the miraculous and marvelous nature of the world and just ponder on existence, on the, the beauty of existence um, so we can continuously connect, there's a little um, lizard here, so we can continuously connect to the world around us and just for that hour of yoga or 20 minutes or 30, whatever, there is different length of classes, anywhere from 15 minutes to an hour and a half. So we can just shut down all the, um, all the stimulation from the outside and connect to the silence, the quietness. <laughs> he just crossed behind me. Uh, connect to the quietness within. So, um, this program is going to be fabulous and different from the previous programs in the fact that I will have many physical therapy inspired classes within the program so there is going to be a lot of therapeutic and in yoga I'll do one strong class like a coffee cup or a more dynamic interval yoga or a vinyasa that is a little sweat inducing and then we we'll have a physical therapy class feel free to do them together if you don't have the time feel free to do just one or set the physical therapy for the weekend or for the evening or for next week it's really i will i'm giving you as usual the schedule but the schedule is an outline and if it doesn't work for you if the class for tuesday for example is long it's an hour long class then substitute it for one of the 15 minute classes there is a 15 minute category and now there is a favorites button on the website so you can favorite your favorite pages and websites and uh, schedules and um, have them in your uh, account so uh, for those of you who are asking me is this only on the website yes for youtube it was requested and i embarked on the journey of sharing on YouTube strictly the astrology series we're gonna evolve through the science and come hopefully into complete evolution of the soul which is how I've chosen to look at astrology more from evolutionary soul perspective soul astrology so that is ongoing Virgo is coming the sixth class the sixth sign is coming up on Sunday and what is going to be on the website is going to be on the website. I did offer an open to everybody, to all guests on the website, free uh, schedule for the roots. Roots 1 is open to anybody that wants to uh, see what we're doing on the website. Come over and uh, sample it. I'm also going to share, as far as free content goes, uh, as much as I can on Instagram. I try to set some time uh, for Instagram, which has not been super high on my priority list, but I'm trying to set some time to shoot some of the physical therapy classes for uh, Instagram so that we can all see them in a more um, concise, condensed format and include them in our workouts or however you want to include them into your uh, routine regime, etc. So follow me on there. What we're going to focus in the physical therapy classes uh, is going to be rebalancing the body, finding balance in the structure, rebalancing the hips, if we have a little bit of an imbalance in the pelvic girdle, if one hip is higher, one hip is twisted, rotated it in. We're going to work on balancing the shoulders and the hips. They go together. The whole body is a kinetic unit and the whole kinetic chain usually feeds off of each other so when we work on one part of the body we work on the entire body so when we work on the hips we 
we can uh, remove knee pain or ankle pain or back pain and you get you get the point it's all one and um, we'll come to that conclusion in Pisces when we reach the Pisces astrology class Virgo is gonna be very slow detail kind of old-school Ali Kamenova the more detailed slow alignment classes paying attention to alignment and um, we're going to focus on relieving mid-back, lower back pain, upper back pain, uh, re uh, improving the posture if we're a little hunched over from sitting, carrying a big baby all day or whatever your job is, gardening, etc. Reaching forward, uh, strengthening the core, strengthening the back, as I said, and really finding balance. Actually, I just finished shooting one of the physical therapy classes, which was called deja vu so those are the subjects of the classes it's gonna be intuition deja vu synchronicity thunder this is a visible event in the universe and more explainable but some are less explainable i just showed a coffee cup called clairvoyance uh we have spontaneity something that i'm really good at um and um Speaking of which, I really urge you to just think about the things you're good at. Don't only, always focus on your shortcomings or the things that you maybe uh, need to improve on or the things that are your challenges, but focus on also on the things that you exceed at, whatever small thing they are or just unusual thing that they might be. Um, with those classes, they're literally butter. You will feel like jello. It will You will spread like butter on the floor. And here is an example of a pose that we will use to rebalance the hips, the pelvic girdle, the shoulders and to relieve back pain and so forth. The importance here is to move from the hip. Uh, a lot, a lot of uh, static improvement of the posture using gravity, using uh, time and gravity to let everything fall into place. Today's class Deja Vu, the idea was that Deja vu, unexplainable scientifically event or uh, phenomenon, uh, is something that maybe we've previewed before we got incarnated and that's why we remember it. Maybe we saw it in a dream previously and that's why it seems familiar. But either way, it's something familiar or something we've seen before or something we've experienced before that we're re-experiencing. Whether it is a time lapse, um, timelines <laughs> crossing, something happening that is uh, kind of more in the quantum physics realm. Let me know if, uh, if you know what it is um, in the comments below. But in this class, the deja vu is really coming back to alignment again. Ah, I remember being in alignment. So just letting everything snap back in alignment. Really amazing poses um, that will uh, allow us to really increase our strength because when you improve uh, alignment, you ultimately... Um, uh, create uh, integrity in the structure and so from there it's um, it ripples out into your strength practice cardio practice into uh, every part of your life into even how you think so I feel that that is I will continue focusing on that as my service and offering uh, just offering space in which you can find your own guidance and your own uh, higher um, calling because when we rebalance the physical structure we eventually uh, balance the emotions and the thoughts the first class uh, from the series that just went on for today is called homeopathy and part of what homeopathy focuses on is that when there is a physical um, disease condition uh, in the body it usually uh, uh, is affected or started or it is causing an emotional imbalance which can also ripple out into a spiritual um, imbalance so on a soul level the soul can be off its purpose everything is one we're not just a soul or we're not just a body or we're not the connection between the soul and the body we are all one and everything just operates as one uh, in uh, unity unison uh, synchro synchron um, harmony that's another name for a class, Harmony. That was another 
uh, it will be probably the first physical therapy class which will be next week so I join I, <laughs> I invite you to join me for the physical therapy classes and really do all the astrology classes because we all have the entire chart within ourselves so there is no sign missing from our own personality we all have to go through the entire circle in order to complete it uh, and start a new cycle it is um, the metaphor or the symbolism for the evolution of the soul moving through all the the first uh, six signs are the development of the personality and then into the upper signs which is the development of the soul with Virgo this is the the beginning of the the return departure for the return so this is the almost the end of the cycle with Virgo is the gestation of uh, the soul so it is the second mother sign the first being cancer in Virgo there is a deeper nurturing element and um, the gestation of the soul happens because the personality development is completed and if we choose to we can move into the upper circle and delve into the development of the soul so those are the things going on on my uh, YouTube, on my website, on my Instagram. I hope to see you on my uh, website because it's uh, my most favorite baby, of course. I've poured all my effort and energy into there. And in some ways, I'm grateful because I had to move over to um, uh, my website due to uh, the shadow banning that I always um mention on here but in that way it gave me even more freedom because when it is a closed community i have the freedom to really express what i want to express and uh, censor myself less so it's my offering is it's far more authentic and far more from the heart far less restricted far less uh, you know boxed up and streamlined so um I hope to see you there um, for uh, all of you that are not sure if you want to um, join you can test uh, the roots yoga one and see how the schedules are uh, set or you can also message me and I can give you a day pass uh, but uh, whatever you decide message me if you have questions and I will answer I'll try to answer them all and I think this this is all I will try to pop in here with some other content besides classes maybe someone asked me to do uh, favorites of 2020 so maybe something like that maybe a morning routine something like that so I'll be here um, and I hope you're having a beautiful, beautiful day and a beautiful, beautiful time of your life. I know times are really intense and I've tried to bring that stability and grounding into my classes so that we can look at these times as an opportunity to awaken. And awakening is never an easy process. It's never a comfortable in our comfort zone process. It is kind of like what is happening now. It is going to shake up our entire reality and make us question things in order to really awaken. So when we were saying there's going to be mass awakening or five um, uh, shifting into 5D or any of that into the fifth dimension or just awakening to a new humanity, new earth, etc. All those, uh, 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 you know, coined uh, phrases in the spiritual world. It was not meant to be just, you know, Kind of chilling around drinking wine type of thing and having the opportunity to awaken usually for the masses to awaken and for us also to awaken it will take a little more intensity and we're going into that intensity it is up to us to make it something positive it is gonna have gnarly parts to it for sure and we need to stay as connected as grounded as focused on the light and on the internal light so that we can transform and when we meet darkness and face darkness we have enough light within to be able to transform it instead of the darkness following us um, having enough cultivated enough light so that we can come through even if for a moment we think we can't we to have the the inner resources enough of them so that we can persevere and come through because love and light as we know as cliche as it sounds always is the answer to everything and always it always wins so i'll see you there and um, thank you for listening to me if you're here at the end thank you and um namaste